we've been talking about this for a while, so I'm glad you're finally here in my casa, overlooking Lake Michigan, and, uh, and let's do this. I'm so grateful to be here in your casa, and I kind of wanted to get you a little bit out of your element by making you the interviewee, but now I feel like I almost made you too comfortable because we're actually in your house. <laughs> I know, right? You want, a, just you want a cocktail? Here. I know, you're not in a suit. You're in a so t-shirt, nice. just chilling. Sandals. So, this, so is, hopefully, this is how I'm dressed when I'm not working. So now, WCL, Windy City Live, has been the hottest ticket literally in Chicago for a while now. Thank you for saying that. I mean, you know it's true. Uh, I, you know, I'm really thankful for where we are. I mean, we just, we're at our three-year mark, which is crazy because... I can't believe how quickly that flew by. I know, you, I, I mean, I can't believe it either. Three years, I mean, it's just, we've, we've had such a great run. Chicago has embraced us so, so well. Uh, I'm so thankful, and when I first made this transition after coming out of sports for 11 years, everybody said, you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? Like, what if this show bombs? And I said, you know what, that's just a chance I'm going to have to take. I really wanted to do it. I always wanted to make the transition into entertainment and to be able to talk about more than just sports, to be able to talk about music and to be able to talk about food and all the things that you're interested in too. I, I actually have some interest in that. Yeah. Some of the food segments we've had, uh, you know, I'm very, very picky finicky, like to the point where you don't want to take I read that somewhere. Oh, That's worst. why I'm glad we're talking about music today and, and not, not food. food. Yeah. yeah, no, well, like, that would be a short conversation. I eat like five things. That's it. Wow. Yeah, it's bad. So, uh, yeah, the food segments are hard for me sometimes. And they know that. And sometimes they let me off the hook. Like, I don't eat any seafood. So if it's a seafood None. segment, they have G or Val do it. So you'd you like a show called Travel Rock, not... <laughs> Eat travel rock. Right. Okay. Sometimes eat travel rock. <laughs> Maybe. No seafood travel rock. Yeah, pizza travel rock. What I think was so interesting is when you did the Jimmy, you know, you were with Jimmy Kimmel, I was blown away because I absolutely adore him. Yeah. And was it just so beyond surreal for you to work with Jimmy Kimmel or to be on Good Morning America? I mean, to do those types of, be on those sets and to all of a sudden be at that level. And what was that like? You know what's amazing? The lighting. <laughs> the lighting was amazing. I don't know how our interview is looking with this lighting, but... I think the natural Chicago lighting is helping. What would you want people to know about you that maybe they don't get to see, you know, see how you are on a daily basis on WCL? People don't know about me. I don't know. I mean, I'm a pretty regular guy, honestly. I, I'm very regular guy. I, if it was up to me, I probably wouldn't wear a suit every day but they like the suit look on TV. I'm pretty um, down to earth, I'm friendly. I think that I come across as me on, on the show. I mean, I like to think that I'm you know still me. As I, if I could say for a minute, I would say that you do, and I, since I haven't known you super long, but when I do watch the show, I feel that it's still that same personality de definitely comes through, and mm -hmm. I don't feel like he's putting on some act, or yeah. there's something weird here. It's it's still very much you. That's good. Yeah, no, that's, and that's really what I would want to convey the most. I want to know how your music background and how all that came about, because as a lot of people might not know, music is something that is incredibly important to you. Oh, yeah. And they don't see the rock star side of Ryan. Maybe Friday a few nights people. Friday nights at the bars. Exactly. Or, you yeah. know, they, maybe a few people have seen some performances, but they don't know to what extent it plays in your life. Yeah, oh, it's huge. I grew up around music. There's a lot of musicians in my family, my dad's uncles and cousins, but my father has made his living as a singer for 40 plus years. Still to this Still day. Still to this day. Wow. My dad is uh, in his 70s, still performs two nights a week uh, at like a little nightclub and he packs the place no and he still way. rocks. Oh yeah, he's still rock and playing like Florida Georgia Line and good rock and roll stuff. I always say if I could, make a living as a musician, I, I would never got into TV. Oh. But music for me is a hobby. Um, I, I realized a long time ago it wasn't, I, I got into music late, I think, because I watched my dad play it, I was really mesmerized by it, but I'd pick up the guitar and put it down. My dad bought me guitars, I always wanted a guitar for my birthday. But I, I'd get a guitar, but I was playing sports and finding out what girls were when I was a teenager. And, <laughs> What they were. And, yeah, and I, I kept putting the guitar down, and so it wasn't until about 12 years ago I finally picked up the guitar. I was living in Colorado. I got so obsessed with it that I would travel with my guitar on sports trips. I'd be like working, going to spring training, and I'd bring my guitar. People in the airport would be like, 
you a professional musician? No, I'm actually a sportscaster, but this is my hobby. <laughs> so let's talk about chords slash songs here. Mm -hmm. All right, how do you think this is gonna go? You giving me a little guitar lesson. Uh, well, let's find out. I I'm, think it's gonna go well. I'm gonna teach I'm, you a couple I, easy, I, I'm easy a little, chords. I'm Come a little on. nervous. Get your guitar. Okay, D, D, A, A, D, G, D. A, D, G. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. D, A twice, G twice, D. And, yeah, D, D, A, G, D. It's hard to go like so fast. Well, yeah, but at 10 minutes a day. Okay, 10 what's minutes the next a day. Song? You've heard of eight minute abs? 10 eight, minute guitar. 10 minute guitar. 10 minutes a day. Okay, you what's can next? Do it. Since I've mastered that one. A minor and C are really similar. All you gotta do is move that finger. Oh, okay, now I get it. Just strum down, just strum down first. Oh, there you go, okay, that's not bad. I know, right? So it's... And then it's F, right? Yep. Wait. Your dad's Sounds gonna be so really good. disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. She's gonna Can learn I just, that. I'll just... But what's your favorite song to play? Let's pretend that um, we are no longer teaching Kelly since that, um, you know. You know, I don't know. It just I, depends I what mood hopes. I'm in. I mean, everybody loves, like, Wonderwall, right? Like, you, crowd favorites are always crowd good. Crowd favorite. Play you know, it. Wonderwall is such a great song. Because you can just do that, and everybody knows what it is, right? Mm -hmm. If they the don't, you, you get concerned. It, it's never happened. You know the words to this, right? Today is going to be the day, of course. <laughs> By now you should have somehow realized what you're not to do. I'll let you sing. I don't believe anybody feels the way I do about you now. That's what I really like to do. I'm actually writing a song right now. Well, I wrote it already and um, performed it on Windy City Live, but we're going to make a music video, and it's all, it's all you know, paying homage to Chicago and the so city. So is that what you're going to play for me next? Uh... You've got to give me some original material. Give you, yeah, yeah. How about if I play? I'm gonna play one of the first songs I ever wrote first. Okay. It's just like Chevrolet unplugged. I love it. I don't know. MTV Chevrolet unplugged. I hate. I still hate playing with a pick. I just like to. Just throw them in the crowd. Just they like, want. Yeah. Throw you them in the crowd. It. So this goes. Walking through my having time time. Trying to figure out what this is for. What you're doing, yeah. Where you're going. Complication, love, and war. Cause I don't want to fight this fight, no. Here, I'll play it. This is a little bit of the Chicago song that okay. we're gonna hopefully put a video to it, maybe do something for charity or something good with it. Alright, this is your, uh, your encore, your grand finale. Yeah. We wait all here for this time It's goodbye to those cold and gray skies The sun is shining Temperature rising All smiles from every Chicago wind Summertime and it's time to have some fun Pop the top and grab me a cold On the boat to cruising your friends are snoozing <laughs> A hot sun and a little bit of boozing <laughs> Picture perfect, post card day I can still hear all blue eyes say That big voice, cigar and perfect sound This is mine You know where I'm going? Kind of kind town, <laughs> town yeah. Chicago Whoa, whoa, Chicago, it's all right with me, Chicago, yeah, yeah, Chicago, so much to see, mm -mm -mm -mm. so that's a little bit of that. Oh, I love it, woohoo, <laughs> take a bow, take a bow, I don't deserve one. Yes, you do.